recently brought my 300 SL into the shop here. This is an R129 chassis to replace the head gasket. I was having some oil leak issues with the head gasket. And, and I'm taking everything apart here. I'm getting ready to take the hose clamps off. I pull the hose off the radiator and oh, lo and behold, I pull the neck right off the top of this radiator tank. And I'm sitting here thinking, boy, I just, I just dodged a bullet. If that would have happened on the freeway, I would have, could have destroyed the engine. So I'm very thankful for two reasons. One, I'm very thankful this happened in the shop. And then I'm gonna, I gotta get a chance to shoot a video on the step-by-step -step procedures on how I fix these. Now we have a kit on my website. We've been selling it for years and years that I call the radiator tank neck reinforcement kit. And we generally recommend doing this before they break off. You, you install a metal insert inside with epoxy and you, you get that thing solidified so the neck won't break off on you. But in this case, it broke. I didn't, I mean, this car only had 100,000 miles on it. Fairly, it's one of the newer, you know, it's the 1990s, so it's not that new. But it just goes to show you, it doesn't, it doesn't matter the mileage. It's, it's the age on these cars. You have to really be concerned about these radiator necks. So I generally don't recommend that you repair it if it's already broken off. You know, I, I recommend, re, you know, from a preventative standpoint, re, re, reinforcing it before it breaks. But in this case, I started pricing out a new radiator for this car. And I also looked at the condition of the radiator, looked at the, how, how the neck was broken. And I've decided I'm going to go ahead and repair it. I'm gonna repair this and save this radiator. Now, uh, you have to be careful when you do this and there's a certain risk you have to accept when you do this. And I'm going to explain that when I do my complete on-demand video, but I just wanna show you the problem here I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna repair this. I'm gonna uh, you know, film the whole thing. The, f the filming of this will be available now as a free uh, add-on with the kits that you purchase on my website. But I'll come back when I'm all done and kind of show you, give you a brief overview how this looks after I fixed it. Because right now, right now, it, you can tell, it, it doesn't look very pretty. I mean, once again, I just really dodged a bullet. After about an hour's work, my radiator neck is repaired. And I believe it's a permanent repair. It's gonna last as long as any other part of the radiator. So take a look, you know, it's, once I get the hose on there and get it clamped, once again, our kit includes the large clamp. I don't, I think the, the factory Mercedes clamps are too narrow and that puts undue stress on the necks so when you, get, when you get our repair kit or reinforcement kit, it, you get the wider clamp. So when you tighten that down, just be careful. Don't over torque these plastic necks on these radiators. A lot of the problem I see is because the clamps have been tightened down too tight. Okay, I'm just warning you that. Be a little gentle on the clamp. Tighten it down tight. If the hose leaks a little bit, just give it a little more, a little more tweak. Don't just sit there and reef down on your, on your hose clamps if you have radiators with with plastic necks. Now, uh, I'm sure some of you are wondering, well, Kent, why did you let that happen to your own car? You know, you've been advising for years to put these reinforcement uh, kits in these old plastic radiators, and why didn't you follow your own advice? Well, <laughs> yeah, sometimes I have to bow my head and say, well, yeah, I guess I didn't follow my own advice. You know, I made the mistake of thinking the car was so nice that I didn't have to worry about it. 100,000 miles, garage car, well kept, and yet when I pulled into the shop to remove that radar hose, the neck fell off in my hand. So I, I count my blessings, folks. I count my blessings every day that this did not happen when I was driving on the freeway. So I recommend, even if you, you don't think you need a radiator neck or you think your radiator's fine, I recommend you pull that top radiator hose and inspect your neck. You'll be able to see uh, de deformation, discoloring, but even if it looks okay, go ahead and reinforce it with that, that metal tubing that we, we supply in the kit, and then you'll have peace of mind, okay? And if you do see some cracking, um, then now's definitely a time to fix it. I do, I do wanna warn you, if 
your neck breaks off in multiple little pieces, I probably wouldn't try to fix it. You know, this one came apart cleanly in two pieces and it came apart in just the right place where I could get adequate strength on both sides with that metal tubing. So I opted to repair it because of the cost of the radiator too. So I highly recommend you take a look at that top radiator neck. If you have one of these applicable radiators in you know, 1978, 79 up to 1995 Mercedes, and you'll have peace of mind knowing that that thing's not gonna cut loose on you when you're driving down the road. So if you're interested in the kit, just click on the link in the show more below. It'll take, take, right, take it right to you. You can read specifically what's in the kit and what's involved in doing this. It's something you can easily do yourself.